Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Keegan. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave your opinions down in the comment section. Boney Vare, I, comma, I. Boney Vare, American indie, psychedelic folk band led by lead singer and Grammy award-winning mastermind, Justin Vernon. It's actually been a decent amount of time since the band has released a project under the Boney Vare moniker. Their last effort was 20 to a million, which was released three years ago, and since then, nothing has even surfaced from the group. We're looking at a decent 13 tracks here, about 40 minutes. Let's see if it stands up to the band's other projects as I review it track by track. We'll start with the singles, with there being four of them. The first one being Hey Mob, which has this very ambient, subtle, electronic pop feel to it. It slowly starts to build up over time with some quiet, muted drums. The chorus, on the other hand, is extremely infectious and fun, despite Vernon's obviously rusty and exaggerated falsettos being so obviously forced, which only makes it more endearing in the long run. Lyrically, it's a very sentimental view of childhood, and what a mother's love can do and make a child feel. Definitely a good track and deserving of that Grammy nod, in my opinion. The second single, You, parentheses, Man Like, is this gospel, semi-poppy, piano-driven ballad. This melody on this song is extremely entrancing and captivating, that it completely sold me on this song first listen. Surprisingly, despite being a ballad, it's got a lot more energy and feels more poppy than Hey Ma. Despite being very short, not even reaching two and a half minutes, it's a very pretty song and one that definitely delves deeper into social issues. It's actually maybe one of my favorite songs from this album. The third single, Faith, is a very positive and uplifting song, surprisingly, mainly led by this simple acoustic guitar, along with these ethereal synths. The song climaxes in this vibrant, energetic chorus before quietly returning to how it started. Lyrically, it's about what the title implies, faith in both a spiritual sense, but also faith in relationships as well, especially how that faith has diminished over the years. It's certainly a very lively song with a wonderful, sweet gospel influence, and yet another positive moment on this album. And the fourth and final single, Gelmore, feels a lot more chaotic and bizarre over the rest of the singles. There's a lot of disjointed, broken synths. However, this song really serves more of a social commentary than a song, where Vernon sings in a very haunting tone about climate change and the inequalities of social status, with added images of pollution and hard labor. In the tracklist, it's placed right before faith, which could be saying that to conquer the bleak realities discussed in this song, we must have faith to overcome the fear and challenge. While it could pair nicely with faith as a standalone song, it'll probably be my least favorite of the singles. Now for the rest of the songs. The opener, yeah, is literally just that. A short 30 second album opener with a very airy, loose snippet of turning a radio on and off. Nothing overly interesting except for how lovely it transitioned into the next track. I Am I, the first full song on this album. The opening of this song is very disjointed and as previously mentioned, is transitioned from the opener. It takes about 43 seconds to actually bring the song in with a very soft, delicate string picking. The instrumental completely blossoms into this cacophony of sounds such as bit compressed synths and some nice but also very subtle drum work. Lyrically, it sets this whole album defining concept into motion about how all of his albums are connected to seasons, this one being autumn. This is a very nice song. We almost has this lo-fi underground hip hop feeling to it, especially with how Vernon sings with this thumping, almost distorted bass in the background. The song unfortunately flatlines near the last 45 seconds and doesn't pick back up, which kind of sucks for a bare 2 minutes and 22 second song. This is probably one of the most entrancing songs on this whole album. The production is just so bubbly yet dark at the same time, and Vernon sounds lovely with all that reverb behind his voice. He just blends in so well. This track is genuinely a banger. Holy Fields is a bit of a weird song. So much is happening instrumentally loud blinking synths, TV and radio static, and some weird like tapping on wood sound. It's extremely different and I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I'm sure this would have been fine as an interlude, but as a whole song it actually becomes a little bit tedious to listen to. Vernon himself even called the song a bit of an improv moment on this album with little to no editing. Lyrically the song is actually a bit less developed, although there is this idea of being a functioning member of society, working a simple office job. I think the overall structure could have been improved on. Not quite feeling this one. Naeem starts off with a bit of a lull, with the song taking quite a long time to properly start up at around 2 minutes and 20 seconds. When it gets to that point, however, it becomes this giant soaring anthem with glittering synths and trumpets. Aside from that though, the overall song just kind of feels a bit too straightforward to be anything else that's notable. Also, the chorus seems wildly underwritten. Vernon tries to make it seem like a lot more passionate than it actually is, but I think it could have been so much more lively than just one repeated phrase. 
Not quite for me. Marion starts out with this lovely acoustic guitar riff that drifts throughout the entire song. Vernon's falsettos are as raspy as usual as he sings about how he dreamt and wished that his relationship was going to last, but the passion has slowly gone away over time. There really isn't too many layers to this song, it really just feels like a glorified lengthy interlude, so nothing special here. Salem is a sweet and uplifting moment on this album, accented by these gorgeous strings and an overall nice poppy feeling. Vernon's vocals actually sound right at home on this track behind this peppy instrumental. Lyrically, we get some nice positive messages about how everyone is different and we shouldn't critique our differences, but instead celebrate what makes us unique and respect ourselves for who we are. This song also adds to that autumn feeling that the album is supposed to have, especially with the burning the leaves line. Again, another very nice song. Shadia, which is an acronym for shittiest day in American history, meant to be the day after Trump got elected into office. The song lyrically also takes a bit more of a political stance, asking how, after this time of distress, can't Americans just find the time to love and respect in the Lord? But in the same way, also asking how and why we can't pass it around. Political views aside, the instrumental is the main takeaway from the track, especially with the beautiful saxophone solo that graces the middle of the track. The song isn't too bad, but in my opinion, it's just right on the middle. Still a good song. And finally, the closer, Rabbi, is a little bit more of an acoustic-driven song. Once again, Vernon's vocals are fantastically blended in with this guitar and minimalistic drum work. Lyrically, the song takes on a bit more of a religious toll, singing about how good it feels, or on the opposite side, how prophetic teachings could essentially be robbery. I don't have a say on the matter again, just interpreting the lyrics. Though I do really like this song, it's a nice way to close out this album. Overall, there's a lot to love about I, I. A lot of beautiful sonic elements, Justin Vernon's fantastic vocal performances on practically every track here, at times certainly lackluster songwriting, but also some very well-written songs such as Hey Ma. Grammy nominated for album of the year? Maybe a bit of a stretch in my opinion, but it's certainly a lovely listen. I'm feeling about solid 8 on this album. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.